In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can install scripts on your server. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is WordPress because it is a very popular script that a lot of people use, especially people that are selling their own products and setting up their own blogs. After this one, we're going to install a script from Hot Scripts. We'll just pick one and I'll install it for you. It's just to show you that the process is similar and it's not at all difficult to install your own scripts. Okay, so starting with WordPress, what we're going to do is go to WordPress.org and then we're going to download the most current version. So just click here. It takes you to another screen here and then you're going to download it in zip format. So click here and then you're going to save it to your server. Okay, now I'm just going to open the directory where it is. Here it is here, WordPress 3.32. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip it. Let's just move this over a bit. And I use 7-Zip, which is a free program that you can download. You can also just use Extract All here, and it uses the Windows built-in file extraction. Let's just use that. Click Extract, and then it will extract all the files for you. Okay, and then here it is. We have our WordPress folder there, and it's all ready to go. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we need to upload the files to our server. Now to do that, you need, you need of course, to already have a domain name and hosting. I'm assuming you already have that. And you're going to need an FTP client to upload your files to your server. You can get a free one called FileZilla. Just do a search on FileZilla and download the client. Okay, so this is the interface that we use for FileZilla. Now, if you look here, we have our computer on this side, and then we just navigate to where the directory or files are that we want to upload on this side. Over here is where our server is going to be. Now, all you have to do is put in the host here, which is your domain name, then the username and password to your hosting account. Now, over here, we have the site manager, and if you click on that, you can enter all of your sites in there, and then you can easily go in there and manage all of your sites from within. Okay, so I have connected up to my server. Now, depending on whether you want this to be in a subdirectory, in other words, you type in your domain name slash and the folder name, you could leave it like this. Or if you want it in the root directory, in other words, you type in your domain name only and it goes to your website, then you would upload all of these directly into the root or public HTML depending on your website location. Okay, so all of my folders on this one reside in the root directory. So if I wanted WordPress installed in the root directory, so when I typed in my domain name, it would come up right away I'd install them in here. I'm going to install it in a subfolder or in a folder. Okay, and then I'm just going to upload this as WordPress. And then once I get it on the server, I can rename it. Okay, so let that upload. That's going to take a little bit of time. Now, WordPress requires that you use a database so that it uh, stores all your data for you and it's easy to retrieve. And that's how WordPress works. You have to be able to change it and the database saves everything for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go create a database for WordPress. Okay, so I'm going to show you in cPanel since I'm using cPanel hosting, but the process is similar if you're using Plesk or other platforms or GoDaddy. There's a place where you can set up your databases. Okay, so I'm going to go down here to database and I have a database wizard here. I'm going to go into the database wizard. Okay, and then you just give the name of your database here. So I'm just going to call this my test. Now you can name your database anything you want. So we're going to go to the next step. Okay, here what you need to do is set up your database username. I'm going to name it the same, but you can name it differently. And then the password. Now you need to have a secure password. So a good idea is to use the password generator. Now copy this 
and click here I have copied it to a safe place and click use password okay now you have a strong encrypted password now what you should do now is open a notepad session okay, and then just paste that in there so you remember your password now we're also going to need to know the database and the username as well and we'll get to that in a sec so what we're going to do here is create the user now all privileges because it needs all the privileges for WordPress next step okay and we're done so now what we can do is copy this whole string here this is our username so we can copy that And then the database name. Now I happen to have called them the same thing here, but if you didn't, you would copy them separately because you need this information. So I copied this in the order database name, username, and password. Okay, so what we can do now is go back and check the progress of our upload. We're nearly done here. Okay, so at this point we're done. I'm going to go find the WordPress directory here. Okay, here it is. I'm going to rename this now. Now you could have renamed it before upload if you want. I'm going to call it my test blog. Okay, so now when we go to my domain name slash my test blog, it will bring up the website okay so let's go back here let's go to the directory so I type in my domain name slash my test blog okay and then we get the installer and it sounds like it doesn't have a config file it'll attempt to create it okay and then we get the standard screen here telling us what we need we need a database name and password database host and table prefix okay let's click let's go now Here's where that information comes in that we jotted down. This is our database name. So we paste that into here. Our username happens to be the same. Paste that in there. I'll go get the password. And we paste that in there. Now, the database host, your server is going to tell you what your database host is. Now a way you can find out is go to phpMyAdmin. Let's go back to the cPanel here. Let's go back to home and let's go down to databases and you'll see here phpMyAdmin. Click on that. Okay and then right at the top here you'll see the name of your database host and this is localhost so we know that's correct. Next thing is table prefix. You can install as many instances of WordPress in one database as you like by giving them a different table prefix. Don't use the default table prefix because it leads to some security flaws. So put something else in here. I'm going to put TRW and submit. Run the install. Okay, and then title. Okay, admin, password. Okay, email address here. And whether you want to allow your search engine or your site to appear in the search engines and click install WordPress. Okay, and then log in. okay and WordPress is installed okay so WordPress is a fairly easy process they have a installer that does most things for you in the next video we're gonna go into a slightly more complex install but it's still fairly easy to put together